Hello, I'm Michael Pazeski from Aesthetic Apparatus. Hi, I'm Danny Barra, and I'm from Aesthetic Apparatus. A basic screen printing setup would consist of uh, frames, either wood or aluminum, that are meshed with kind of a nylon screen, um, emulsion uh, that's kind of almost like uh, Elmer's glue with some fancy photo emulsion in it. We have water-based ink, gallons and gallons of different colors of water-based ink. A squeegee, which is basically just a rubber blade and a wooden handle. And some kind of light source to expose it by. And then some paper. Paper's good to have when you're printing a poster. Uh, with screen printing, you have to keep everything fairly simple. Uh, pretty limited use of colors. We typically don't use more than two to three colors. And just really use everything very economically. We relate to that because we're so influenced by the no-name designers from the mid-century, 50s, 60s, that uh, also were presented with those limitations through the limitations of the print industry at that time. Actually, screen printing is really effective on a limited budget, and even when we started our studio as a full-time studio as aesthetic apparatus when we moved to Minneapolis, I think it cost $600 to get everything we needed. Yeah, I think we figured out to get everything we needed in just a basement studio and a house, it was around 600 650 bucks. Yeah, maybe. I mean, you can expose your screens to the sunlight even though you could also buy a $10,000 light table, or you could, um, print with house paint, or you could buy expensive screen printing ink. The great thing about screen printing is that it's kind of an, an oral tradition. No two printers do it the same, and there's always a way to jerry-rig the process in one way or another.